In this getting started with Blender tutorial for new Blender users, I'll show you how to just navigate the scene and kind of get started and uh, kind of help simplify the work. And then you'll find I have uh, several dozen tutorials on YouTube already and quite a few more that I'll post for the next several months for new users. So you can get up to speed quickly. Blender is really powerful and so this should really help. Alright, so when you first start the scene, you come up with this basic cube like this. And if you notice, I was moving the scene around like this. All I'm doing is I'm holding down the wheel mouse button. And as I'm holding it, I'm moving it left and right or up and down. So that'll really kind of get you started navigating the scene. And then also, if I hold down the control key and the wheel mouse button at the same time, it allows me to zoom in and out of the scene like this. And then if I also hold down the shift key instead and then the wheel mouse button it allows me to just move it around the scene like this alright so this is general navigation for getting around and there's a couple other more important features one is the on the number pad of your keyboard if you press the number seven you'll be looking at it from above and you'll notice up here it says top and this is perspective so it's perspective view but if you press the number five key it changes it to orth orthogonal view, so you're looking straight at it. So uh, you can just toggle between the two. I'll go back to perspective. And then uh, if you press the number one key, you're looking at it from the side. And notice this red arrow in Blender represents the x-axis. Blue represents the z-axis. It's nice because it uh, kind of matches mathematical axes. So... Uh, Let's press the 3 key on the number pad, and you'll see we're looking at it from a different view. Blue's still up, but now uh, green representing Y is in this direction. So you can change your views by 7, 1, and 3. And then when you're in those views, you can use the number 4 and the 6. So I'll press number 6 right here, and I'm rotating around like that back to my original location. Or 4 rotates me back that way. If I go to the top view 7 and I press 4 or 6 I rotate around this way and rotate the other way and you can see the axis follows so you always know where you're pointing this is the global indicator for the axis now, when I'm in this view I'll press that middle mouse wheel and I'll just move it up and down and then I'm just back into this kind of perspective looking mode so you can view it at any angle All right. So that's kind of the basics of navigating around the scene, except for one more thing, and that's the camera view. And notice by default, I'm, I'm zooming out with the middle wheel mouse. By default, there's a camera here in the scene, and you select objects with the right mouse button. So I'll right-click it, and it's selected like that. And here's a light is in the scene as well, and I'll right-click it, and it's selected. And then it tells me it's the lamp right here. And then in the same way, I'll right-click this cube, and I know the cube is active like that. All right, so this camera by default is looking towards the center, but we can change the way it looks. But for the moment, we won't worry about it. But if you press the zero key on your keypad, you'll actually get the camera view. All right, so that's what it's looking at. So now if I use the, this represents what the camera actually sees when you do a render. In fact, if I press F12 right now, it renders the scene and I'm moving the wheel mouse up and down like that and then if I press escape it goes back to the scene like this I'm moving the wheel mouse again like this just to see it so there you see your scene like that and that was with the uh, zero on the number pad so I'm gonna go back to one I pressed one and then I'm just moving it around with the wheel mouse hold held and then I'm zooming it in and out like this so that's general navigation around the scene and that really helps so now let's look at general navig just general action of the object itself so I right click on the object and that selects it it tells us it's the cube right here and there's numerous ways to move the cube around in space one way is the z-axis being blue I put my mouse here and I'll left click it and while it's held down I'll just move it up and down all right, and then if I don't like where it is at any time, I can just press escape and it brings it down here. Same thing for the x-axis. I left click that, move it here, and you can see that x-axis sh line shows up. And I'll leave it there this time. I'll move the scene a little bit, and then I'll do the same thing on y, move it around like that. All right, so that moves the object in the space for you. If you want to rotate the object around, 
the easiest way is to press let's look at it from above I'll press 7 look at it from above and I'm going to press the R key All right, that sets rotation mode you see there's a little you know line that goes between the object and by moving it like this I can actually just rotate it around I'm not holding any mouse button down right now I'm just moving it around in the circle like this if I don't like it I press the escape key like that and you can constrain your movement let me move this view back to here and maybe I just want to move it on rotate it on the x-axis from this view so I can press R and then immediately press X and then it shows that x-axis line here and then when I move it it rotates it only on the x-axis like that I left click to set the location then maybe I want to rotate it on Y I press R immediately followed by pressing Y and then I can rotate it like this here and that helps move that around okay so now that's general navigation and the other thing is scaling you can scale with the S key so I'm going to move the mouse somewhat near the center like this. I'm going to press S and you're going to see a little line that j jumps to that. There's a, right in the center of the cube there's a little orange dot. It shows the center of that cube right now. And now I can just move the mouse and I scale it up and down like this. Or I'm going to escape this. So before I left click I'm going to hit press escape. And maybe I only want to scale it on the Y axis this way so I'll well actually let's get this rotation back to its original form and you can do that by we can just control Z undoes things so I'll undo it a couple times so it's back to here and now let's scale it on Y Y being the green arrow I'll press S and then I'll immediately press Y so that restricts it to the S X to the Y axis when I scale it like this and I'll leave it there and then one other thing I'm gonna now press with the mouse out here because I'm going to scale this down. I'm going to move the mouse here, press S, and I'm just going to scale X, Y, and Z down like this all together. And then there's one other way. Sometimes you want to scale it on, let's say I want to scale it on Y, I mean on Z up and Y this direction, but not on X. So what you can do is you press S, and then I pressed Shift X and what that does that excludes X but you can see Z and Y are the active axes and then it scales it like this alright so that's general navigation around the scene and let's see there's one other thing I'll we'll take a look at one is uh, if you press X on the keyboard it'll bring up the delete menu and then if you left click you delete the object alright and then if you want an object in the scene you have to press the shift key followed by the A key and it brings up a menu and you can move it over to a cube right here and I press left click and it adds a cube to the scene. Now notice if I move my mouse over here and I left click here and then press shift A and add another cube it adds it to the location of where that cursor was placed in the scene. Alright so you can add objects and and then if since this is the active object I press R that rotates I right click here press R that rotates I can move this that moves it in and out of the scene like this and that's kinda of helps you kinda of move the object around in the light to the same way I can press here and then move this up and down and that helps navigate through the scene alright well that's general navigation throughout the scene and then um, in the second part of this tutorial, I'll show you how to kind of set up the lights and a few other things, kind of bring the uh, scene to life. And then that'll really help get you going. And then uh, check out all those other lessons after that, because I have quite a few tutorials now that really address the basics and that'll bring you up to speed quite quickly. All right. Well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.